Hello guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we saw how we can create a table having foreign key constraint in it. In this lecture, we will learn how we can add foreign key constraint into an existing table. So first, we need to create a parent table. Okay, because now we will add the foreign key constraint into employee table. So let's create the company table. So open the PSQL console first. So switch to the terminal and here run sudo hyphen u. okay and now we need to create the company table okay so run the create table command here create table and your, your table name that is companies okay and now let's add attribute for the companies table that is let's say id serial uh, primary key okay and now add attributes like uh, name and its type where care uh, let's say uh, 255 okay however you can choose the different uh, name uh, according to your size and now let's add a constraint here not null add uh, country two fifty five and make it not null as well and then contact number work at twenty and make it not null as well and then add unique constraint for name and run this query by after adding the semicolon okay so here you can see that uh, the company table has been created okay and here you can see that in the create table command for companies table i added not null and unique constraint and using the same way you can also create a new table in the database using this constraint okay because this is the first time we are creating a table using this not null and unique constraint however we already see that how we can add this not null and unique constraint into existing table but uh, in this lecture you can also see that how we can create a new table using not null and unique uh, constraints okay now let's see the details of the companies table so you just need to run slash d companies so slash d companies okay and here you can see that you can see the two indexes for the company table okay and here you can see company's primary key that is id and company's name key that is unique constraint b3 name okay so now uh, whenever you create a company you do not need to provide the id only because we added it as a serial okay so it will get it will calculated automatically but you need to keep the name unique for every company and it must be present and you uh, you cannot uh, leave the contact number and country name empty okay however if you wish you can repeat this but you cannot make it uh, empty okay so you need to provide values and here you can see that all the attributes are showing not null okay now let's add the foreign keys into employee table okay but before adding that foreign key i just want to tell you that uh, i am planning this uh, relationship in such a way that you can see that every employee belongs to some company okay and every company have many employees in it okay so we can associate this relationship like uh, one to many so company has many employees and every employee belongs to exactly one company at a time okay so now to add the foreign key into employees table we need to use alter table command for this okay so how we can use alter table command alter table okay and then your table name employees okay and you know that uh, how we can add a foreign key constraint so we can use add constraint fk employees add constraint fk employees company okay because we need to make the company name here okay or you can simply use fk company so let's remove this employee company and you can just simply keep it fk company because we are adding company as the foreign key here so we just need to mention our constant name as fk company okay and then you need to use foreign key foreign key and what column you will use as foreign key so just to mention company id here company id and then references 
and mention the company attribute of primary key of companies table here okay so companies and then mention the ids here okay and we also see the on delete sentinel option yesterday in the last lecture so we need to add that as well so on delete sentinel okay now this query is fine to add foreign key company id into employees table but if you run this query you will get an error because we are trying to make company id as foreign key into employees table but we do not have company id attribute in the employees table okay so if you run this query you will see the error you can see column company id referenced in foreign key constraint does not exist okay so what we need to do before adding the foreign key constraint into employees table that we need to add the company's id first in the employee table okay and there are two ways to add the attribute or add a new attribute into the table okay you can either add the company id first and then run this alter table add constraint query or you can do both i mean add the employees id and add the uh, sorry add the company id and add the constraint into employees table in a single query okay however we already see that how we can add new attributes into an existing table so we will use the second approach i mean we will add both company id and foreign key constraint into a single query okay so let's use this query again and here what we need to do that alter table employees first we need to add the column here okay so we will add add company id and let's main, mention it type and now add the comma here and then you just need to run the query okay so here you can see the query that alter table employees add company id integer comma add constraint fk employees foreign key company id okay and now if you run this query you will see that the employee table will be altered okay so run this query and you can see the alter table in response and if you wish you can see the details of employee table as well so slash the employees and here you can see that uh, foreign key constraint has been added as the company id into the employee okay and here you can see employee sorry fk company foreign key company id references company id on delete set null okay and the fk employees it means that uh, it is referenced by the employee document so we do not need to do anything with that okay now company id has been added as the foreign key into employees table so it's your chance or it's your time to insert some records into company's table and then associate these with existing employee rows okay for example if you see the employees details now select star from employees and you can see that now we do not have any value for the company id okay so what you need to do here that first you need to insert some records into the company table and then you need to map the company id into the employees table okay and if you fail to do that i will do this in the next lecture okay so in this lecture what we learn that how to add foreign key constraint into an existing table okay so try this lecture at your end and we'll we will meet into another lecture okay till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe